Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve a structural design problem that involves a column design using load and resistance factor design method based on eStructural Design DAO found on the App Store. Design a reinforced concrete square column of 20 inches by 20 inches using load and resistance factor design that carries an actual bending load with actual dead load of 300 kips and actual live load of 540 kips and moment dead load of 50 foot kips and moment live load of 90 foot kips. Design criteria as follows. Strength of concrete, 7000 PSI. Vertical bars, 3 4 inch diameter, grade 60. Lateral tie bars, 3 8 inch diameter, grade 60. Bar configuration, 4 bars per face. The column carries an actual bending load with actual dead load of 300 kips and actual live load of 540 kips, moment dead load of 50 foot kips, and moment live load of 90 foot kips. Given actual dead load equals 300 kips and actual live load equals 540 kips, the factored actual load is 1224 kips. Given moment dead load equals 50 foot kips and moment live load equals 90 foot kips, the factored moment is 204 foot kips for an eccentricity of 2 inches. Enumerate input parameters required. Column name, C14, floor designation, round to second, square shape and lateral ties, side of column, 20 inches, steel covering, 2.5 inches, unsupported height, 10 feet 6 inches, bar configuration, 4 bars per face, vertical bars, 3 4 inch diameter at grade 60, Lateral tie bars, 3 8 inch diameter at grade 60. Strength of concrete, 7000 PSI. Factored actual load, 1224 kips. Factored moment, 204 foot kips. And eccentricity, 2 inches. Given 12 pieces of 3 4 inch diameter vertical bars, the area of steel is 5.28 square inches with steel ratio of 1.3% and the spacing between bars is 5 inches for 4.25 inches clear spacing. To get the nominal load and moment at E equals 2 inches, let neutral axis C equals 23 inches and depth of stress block A equals 16.1 inches. Given column side equals 20 inches and steel covering equals 2.5 inches, apply the computations below to get the following distances and force type of each layers of bars. D sub 1 equals 2.5 inches, compression. D sub 2 equals 7.5 inches, compression. D sub 3 equals 12.5 inches, compression. D sub 4 equals 17.5 inches, compression. Follow the given computations for stresses and forces of each layer. Stress at D sub 1 is 60 KSI and compressive force at 105.6 kips. Stress at D sub 2 is 58.63 KSI and compressive force at 51.59 kips. Stress at D sub 3 is 39.72 KSI and compressive force at 34.95 kips. Stress at D sub 4 is 20.8 KSI and compressive force at 36.61 kips. Given FC prime equals 7 KSI and stress block is 16.1 inches by 20 inches, the force of compression block is 1915.9 kips. By summing up all the forces, the nominal actual load is 2144.65 kips. Follow the computations below for a final check of eccentricity at 2 inches. Given nominal actual load equals 2,144.65 kips and E equals 2 inches, the nominal moment is 357.44 foot kips. Check for adequacy. The nominal design actual load is 1,883.08 kips, less than actual load capacity of 2,144.65 kips. And nominal design moment is 313.85 foot kips less than actual moment capacity of 357.44 foot kips. Follow the given computations for lateral ties. Design recommendation as follows. FC prime equals 7000 PSI. FY equals 60,000 PSI. 
Column size is 20 inches by 20 inches by 10 feet 6 inches. Vertical bars of grade 60. 12 pieces 3 4 inch diameter bar. Lateral ties of grade 60. 3 8 inch diameter 3 sets spacing. 6 at 4 inches. 4 at 6 inches. Rest at 10 inches. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.